Hello, I'm Knuckles. How to play tennis ball. A tennis ball is a ball designed for the sport of tennis. They are fluorescent yellow at major sporting events, but in recreational play can be virtually any color. Tennis balls are covered in a fibrous felt which modifies their aerodynamic properties, and each has a white curvilinear oval covering it. Before the development of lawn tennis in the early 1870s, the sport was played as the courtly game of real tennis. According to Louis XI of France in 1480, forbade the filling of tennis balls with chalk, sand, sawdust, or earth, and stated that they were to be made of good leather, well stuffed with wool. Other early tennis balls were made by Scottish craftsmen from a wool-wrapped stomach of a sheep or goat and tied with rope. Those recovered from the hammer beam roof of Westminster Hall during a period of restoration in the 1920s were found to have been manufactured from a combination of putty and human hair, and were dated to the reign of Henry VIII. Now we'll show you this schematic diagram of tennis. The outer rectangular area is 130 feet by 70 feet, and the inner rectangular area is 80 feet by 40 feet. In the middle of the rectangular area, a net post is mounted on the net line, that some of the tennis balls can hit or pass over the net. The center line, at the middle is perpendicular to the net line. The service line in the middle is parallel between inner rectangular edge and the net line lets you stand the player on this line. The side lines, about 5 feet near the inner rectangular edge of breadth also run perpendicular to the net and define the side boundaries of the court for singles matches. The tactics of tennis relate to the tennis strategy component of the game. Strategy refers to your general approach to playing a match. The tactics of tennis are the specific shots and your court positioning that will help you execute your strategy successfully. This varies according to the strategy being used. First tactic work on your weaknesses. For example, if your volleys are your worst shots, then you should spend the next few sessions practicing these shots while paying close attention to your flaws in technique or form. Second tactic, make sure to practice your weaknesses. You simply have to practice it again and again. Be sure to incorporate time in your practice sessions for working on the shots that you already hit well. Third tactic, learn proper form and technique on all your tennis strokes. Each stroke has its own specific way of how you take back the racket and swing it through the ball but there are a few things that never change. Fourth tactic, improve your tennis fitness. If you have a lack of strength, then you should start pumping iron in the gym. But be careful, any mistake might result to injuries that may even hamper your ability to play tennis. Fifth tactic, learn to construct points. For example, if you can hit a good deep ground stroke, can run pretty quickly and punch quality volleys, then you should automatically be good at playing an attacking game. And sixth tactic, developing mental toughness in tennis. It could be because we know the player can hit shots. It doesn't matter how far it can be. We only have to deal with the ball and not him per se. So you now know how to play tennis, typically for beginners. Like, comment, and subscribe now.